A researcher conducted a survey to determine whether people at a certain large town prefer watching sports on a television to attending the sporting event. The researcher asked 117 people who visited a local restaurant on a Saturday. That's kind of a strange place to make sure you only poll. Like, what if people don't show up? You're only polling restaurateurs, the people who... Who you're only you're only getting foodies. What about pe- there's whole swaths of the population who don't go to restaurants or don't go to that particular restaurant. Um, seven people refuse to respond. It's actually not that big a deal for people to refuse to respond. Seven out of 117. It's not significant. You could pretty much subtract those seven out, and you'd still have over a hundred uh, people who have conducted a survey. I'm actually surprised. I don't think it's very realistic that only seven people in a restaurant. Are going to respond with that way with a refusal. But anyway, which of the following factors makes it less least likely that a reliable conclusion can be drawn? This is a terribly done survey. You shouldn't just go to a local restaurant. You need to make sure that you go to a variety of locations. You have to, uh, if you want to represent all the people in the town, you have to go out into the town and you have to represent all the different neighborhoods in the town. You don't have to get everybody, but you need to make sure that you uh, attend to multiple locations. You can't just go to the restaurant. So, uh, this the sample size, 117. That's a that's a large number of surveys. The population size, uh, it doesn't matter how big the the city is, and the number of people who refuse is not significant. D is the answer.